first, I would like to say um, uh, I want to keep Daniel Ramsey and his family in our thoughts and prayers. He lost his father yesterday. Um, and, and anytime you lose a parent, uh, especially during this time of year, uh, my heart goes out to him. And to be such a young, outstanding individual, uh, my heart aches for that family. Um, but God knows best, and we're going to keep him in our thoughts and our prayers um, as he's a huge, huge piece of what we're doing here. Uh, and um, we just keep him in our thoughts and prayers. Um, on to the Coal Falls, man, I thought our guys really brought a level of intensity that we were able to sustain um, outside a couple portions of our game. But And I, and I keep reminding our guys, if we're ever going to become the team that we all want to be, think we can be there's a way you have got to win all right and it, it is not really predicated on who we play it's all internally and you can control what you can control and I thought for the most part we did that today I want to um really commend Big Ed for getting his 16 rebounds I don't think he had 16 rebounds in a total of 70 games um but I think he um really showed what he's capable of today and he's been working his tail off um, uh, for quite a while and I start to see the, the fruits of that labor <clears throat> I, will, I will always challenge him to be consistent and I want to bring um, bring up Jaden Jaden uh, Turner and he like Brendan a couple of games ago he's been in college a full millennium and for him to be able to get his thousandth point I think that speaks volumes to his consistency and his, his productivity over quite a long period of time um, you know what? A win is a win. We're going into holidays, feeling good about ourselves, and um, we moving on to the next. Yeah. You were recruiting Jaden. What did you like about him? What did you see about him? Again, he's a dude that plays all over the floor, and I saw it on film. And when we was evaluating him, and I certainly felt it when we got him on our team, it feels like we're playing with seven guys on our team on the floor. It's seven on five. He plays all over the floor. He has a relentless pursuit of the basketball. he got a nose for the basketball. And, and I tell him, when he, I don't know what position he is. All I, know, I need to have his ass on the floor. Um, and then he's, he's just that dynamic of a presence. Uh, and I think he's going to contend for the, the leading rebound in our league. Uh, and... and I've never coached a guy that has that much impact on the game offensively and defensively. And you know what? He finds his productivity. In. We hardly call any sets for him. And that is a um, – that is a – that is a um, – that is a um, – that's a real luxury. You got the hiccups over there? Yeah, a little bit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, how would you rate him compared to Jaden? Because Jaden is a guy that you it, it's, it's been massive, and it was it was immediate. You know, once we got into our training camp in September, we started doing a lot more live ball action. He just looks a whole lot more comfortable on the floor. And a lot of guys, a lot of people don't realize the one great thing about being a freshman. It's, it's one great thing is they become sophomores, and and he's become a sophomore, and he's he's looking more comfortable on the floor. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of his development. But he, he takes ownership in his own development, though. It, it's not like we're dragging him to want to become the player he wants to be or we need him to be. Um, he, he's taking part in that. He's taking part in his own development. So that's, that's, that's also unique, too. And so we're excited about what he, <clears throat> what he can become, but we're also excited about what he's, what he's already become. Um, I say one thing when I came on my visit here, this felt like home. You know, I was in good um, hands when I came here, and I like the coaching staff. They made it seem like I was loved here. What does a thousand point mean to you? Oh, it means a lot for me, especially for me being in college for five years. So it's a big milestone for me and my family. Uh, yeah, I knew I was close, but that wasn't like my main focus on coming into the game. I, 
well, for me, we're going to focus on our identity being the toughest, uh, nastiest team in our block that's committed to getting better every single day, regardless of who our opponent is. Um, we got to have a level of consistency, a level of discipline in our effort and our attention to detail. Um, that's what I'm focusing on for the next 18 games. That's all that matters to me. One game at a time. I couldn't tell you who we got the next guy. All I know is we're going to focus and, and, and prepare like it's our Super Bowl every single game. I'm going to tell you, young fella, hell no. All right, because I do believe that we have strength in numbers. And that's something I think our guys are beginning to uh, buy into. Uh, and that's what a part. That's what being a part of a team is. When one of your brothers or two of your brothers are down for an extended period of time, we have guys that can come up and step forward and, and, and feel comfortable doing that. And, and so I, I tell our guys a lot in our locker room, I shall prepare that whenever my name and number is called, I will be ready. And those guys are, are, are taking hold to that, are buying into that. And if we can keep that same form, Focus, keep that same intensity. And, and again, we've we've challenged our guys purposely. You know, not many teams in our league or not many teams across the country with the aspirations that we have starts with a schedule that we have, especially with seven of your first ten on the road. Uh, so we purposely have challenged our guys and we've been in some in some adverse situations, but I thought we've taken something out of each and every one of those deals. And as we can move forward, we gonna we have a lot of experiences in the eleven games we've had in our non conference slate that we're gonna be able to pull from um, when you get in the, in the mid-January, February, when you're competing down the stretch, we're going to be able to pull uh, from some of these experiences that we've had. It's a great question. Jay, what, uh, what makes you so such an effective rebounder because you're not overly um, big or overly you know, powerful? Um, I say I always stay moving. So and I can tell by the way the rotation of the ball sometimes, how it's going to come off the rim. So I just really studied it most of the time. Um, this year, <clears throat> I've improved. I think I'm taking the right step in the right direction for real. I just got to take a step in front of the other. It's a process. You just got to keep building, keep building, and see where it goes from there. Yeah, I feel more confident. My coach is giving me a lot of confidence. And you know, in practice, we were going at it. It gives me a lot of confidence. It makes the game easier when the game starts because of how hard our practice is. So that helps me a lot. Why'd you change numbers? Uh, nothing. It was just... I just wanted a new start, I guess. It just wanted a just new number. That number game made him break out. <laughs> he broke out in poison ivy, broke out in hives, so he, <laughs> he had to change it. <laughs> I also got a I mean, I, don't, I eat anything that has rice in it. <laughs> anything that has rice in it, I'm, I'm going to eat it. So I'm pretty simple. You know, if you can cook it, I can eat it. I'm like my friend Ed. Um, but we're going to, I'm going to, really, I'm going to try to have a little discipline. Last um, Christmas, I fell off the table. Um, I had no discipline at the plate. Um, I'm going to be a little bit different, but I'm, I'm going to ha definitely have some of my mother's um, dump cake. She's already made it. The, the team going to have a piece of it here in a little bit. Um, yeah, I like turkey, chicken, ham. Give me some macaroni and cheese, anything with rice in it. <laughs> um, I'm not picky. I'm picky. I see, yeah. It's back there. Go ahead. It's back down the hall. It's down the hall. What you got, Jaden? Nails and... and I say my Christmas dinner gonna look mostly like my Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. So <laughs> eat some of everything. Some of everything. Yeah. Where have you seen the most improvement since day one? Well, I, I, I've seen. So we're sharing the ball. We had 26, 26 assists. Uh, I think that's has been a been a theme of ours the last, especially the last couple of games. Well, shots wasn't falling. I do think we had the mindset to share the basketball. Uh, we always try to strive for 15 to 20 assists a game, and I thought we we've gotten closer to that. But I'll be honest with you, and it, the score may not indicate. Um, that that it was much different than than the previous six or seven games, but I thought defensively, 
even with BYU and it carried over, I thought the the attention to detail that we we put on on defense, I think that's starting to carry over. And you got to, I got to, we got a bunch of guys in our locker room that love to score the basketball. And I I I am a firm believer that you got to score to win games. I don't want to win games two to zero, uh, but I do think the 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 idea of having a mindset to bend. And on the defensive end, bend but not break. I think that's starting to take hold, man. And um, and and listen, we're gonna we're gonna come out hopefully like our hair is on fire, like a caged panther. Um, and um, I want to keep taking steps forward. And I understand it's the process. Uh, we really do. I, I'm thinking we're really starting to take hold of the decisions you make on a daily basis and the habit you, the habits you you try to create for yourselves. That gives you the opportunity for success. And it's a it's a daily, daily, daily attention and a daily awareness to those the choices you make, both on and off the floor, that will allow yourself to be to be champions. And I think we're starting to see some of that. And um, we're gonna I'm gonna continue to, to demand that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've been waiting on that. You guys, you guys looking forward to that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why so? We just, we just want to get at it. That's all it is. We just, you know, we're putting so much work leading up to this point from summer up to this way. We just hunger, just trying to get at it. That's all it is.